Hello. Are they friendly? Come on in. Hey puppies. Get back. Get back. <laughs> hey puppies. How's your morning? So far so good. It's all yeah. icky outside. Yeah, and... yeah. Um, I think what it is, I just got a new air conditioner. Okay. H back two months ago. I think it's the I think there's a hole or something in the uh, free online. Because okay. this is not cooling and this is not cooling. You know when who you pull installed that? Back, huh? You know who installed it? Um, yeah, I do. Okay. It's nobody down here. Oh, okay. It's a friend of mine that lives in the Oh, okay. He installs all day there. Yeah. I was just wondering because sometimes the people who around here warranty their work if they made a mistake. Well, no, he did. He so it's warranted. Of He's coming in two weeks, but I can't wait. I hear you. I'll see what I can do. I think yeah, I found. Every, uh, the thing is. Yep, I found uh, your issue right every there. Every time I get it, this is like my second. Oh yeah. It is all oily right here. All that oil. Uh -huh. That's refrigerant. Yeah, that's what okay. I figured. Yep. Okay. So there's got to be a line somewhere. I, guess. I might be I able mean, to. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find it, and then we'll get it fixed is for it you. There or is it it's probably at one of his solder joints. It's right here. At the solder joint. Yeah, there's oil in refrigerant, so wherever the leak is, it's gonna be oily, and that's and it's gonna be super. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I can smell it. So, we we'll get some soap and bubbles and see if I can I'll find it. I'll pay you extra if you'll just tell him what's going on. Okay. You don't want me to fix it today or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, hey, Matt, you need a coffee or anything? No, I'm okay. I drank one. I'm all hyped up. I'm good to go. What? I said I already drank one this morning. I'm good to go. Yes, ma'am. I need three to get going. Oh, I just need one good one. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go look at the outside. See how much refrigerant we got, and then we're gonna go try to find that leak. Let's find out which side it's on. Twenty six PSI. She empty. Yeah. Was over 10 grand. Really? Yeah. Did you get a bid from us? Yeah. And y'all were over 10 grand for the same thing. Y'all were going to do it. If y'all were going to do a two ton, I think he did a three ton. Was that a three ton or a two ton? This is a three ton. What size is your house? Uh, it's 1,900 square feet. And what happened was when I built the house 11 years ago, mm -hmm. the guy that installed it, he installed it not the right sear that I had requested and paid for up front. Yeah. So uh, he came back and changed out the unit and made the unit. There's our leak right there. Of three and a half ton. The outside unit was three and a half ton and the inside unit was two ton. So it was constantly like causing problems. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, I think I found our leak. All right, I'll get you a price. Just go ahead and fix it. I mean, yeah. But I got you guys, and your house was for two 
All right, so she approved repair and refrigerant. The thing is completely empty. I'm throwing nitrogen in it. Uh, we're gonna let it out, throw the nitrogen in it, and go ahead and get this repair started for her. And so on and so forth. It's, it's like muggy. There's like a low fog today, so everything's gonna get wet. So it's kind of hard to keep the moisture out. So I just gotta make sure I do a really good job today. So before I put this on here, I'm gonna take this one off. I'm gonna remove my cores if I can. At least on the suction side, I'll probably do a one hose recovery on this one. She had someone from Georgia install it because everybody bidded too high. Which it wasn't that high, just a little high. And this guy drove from Georgia. Probably doesn't have a Florida license. And swap this thing out for her. So, I'm gonna get it knocked out. And then I'll ever ask too many questions and just do the work. This is Dave, may I help you? Yeah, this hey, is, this Dave, is, I got Matt here. This is Matt with Green Air. What's going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You needed to talk to me. No, I just told her I would send eight hundred dollars. I think twelve fifty is way out of line. It's a. What you're gonna do? I know how much Freon costs. I know how long it's gonna take you to weld the unit and put a vacuum on it for thirty minutes, and you're done. You're two hours labor. I I do a lot more than that, bro. I change the line dryer. I pressure test the system. I monitor it for fifteen to twenty minutes to make sure there's no other leaks in the system. And then I pull a good vacuum under 500 microns. Yeah, it, it, on a good system that's tight with indoor and outdoor. Right. Uh, a vacuum is probably going to have 500. If you can reach 500 on any system, you're really pushing it. But you're only talking 30, 45 minutes. So, okay, you have three hours. I got, I, I record all my stuff too. You can, um, on video and stuff for footage. But I, I, rec I have no problem getting under 500 in most units. But I, I, I charge the, that's $100 a pound, nine pounds, and then I charge her for labor. It costs $310 for a tank of Freon. That's 25 pounds. For four, that's 410 prices. For four tanks. Yes. You guys got good prices up there. We do. <laughs> you got really good prices up there. I don't know what we pay, but it's not that, it's not that price down here. Uh, $100, uh, $100 I know you're making money. I mean, you're making an exorbitant amount of money. and that's I get paid by the hour. I'm not making money. I'm the technician. I'm oh, so, oh, she tells Okay, so she tells me, so I thought you were working on your own. You work for another company? Yeah, I'm just a technician. Okay, well then, uh, I, then there's no need to talk to you. I understand you're not the owner, so that's, yeah. this conversation but, doesn't need to happen. But I'm charging her... I'm charging her hourly for the labor, so I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to cut that labor down if it does everything goes smoothly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, no, I'm totally misled. I thought you were the owner and you were just coming to do it because you serviced her unit in the garage. Uh, it's no. Total misunderstanding. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. Yeah, I know you. Now I know you don't have control over prices. Yeah. I, I, like I said, totally misunderstood. She said her guy was coming. That does the garage unit, so I assumed you were just a guy on your own doing the work. Nope, I wish. I understand but. now. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll, yep. uh, I'll give her a call back. All right, sounds good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, my friend Kathy is calling from Georgia. Uh, my friend Howard mm -hmm. uh, he's like he he's got a buddy that does HVAC. And I said, what's his name? Like that. I said, is he at Green Air? Like that. He goes, I don't know. He goes, he said he fixes all the rental company stuff. And I 
I said, yeah. well, those guys still do a good job. And I said, what's his there's name? No, there's no, there's no excuse. Name. I said, what's his name? He goes, Moose. I said, you've just told me all I need to know. I don't want Moose in my house. No. I just said, I'm not going to have a guy named Moose come in my house. Sorry. <laughs> I yeah. said, I'm calling Green Air, and you can figure it out with them. <laughs> Yeah. He said it should only take me 30 minutes. And I was like, it takes me longer than that just to monitor to make sure there's no other leaks in the system. And he's like, uh. I'm not sure. Yeah, smoke, alarm. smoke alarms may go off. This oil is kind of burning off. Yeah, so they may go off. Nitrogen might have to get the other tank. It's in the red. Yeah, I'm running out. I just check for bubbles. Looks like we might have got it. I don't see any bubbles I know. Everything is getting wet, and the umbrella don't help with the fog like it is. It sucks. Okay. There's a full bottle. We'll get it up to 150, and then we'll. Uh, it's at about 100 right now. And then we'll let it sit. Yeah, 
everything's getting wet. Well, rain happened. Dang it. And all my stuff's getting wet. Let me try to pull it all in close. Soak it wet, man. I just got everything dried off. Dang it. Alright, so we've been doing this for 20 minutes. I'm gonna let out the nitrogen. We're gonna put her on a vacuum, get this ball rolling. Okay, that guy on the phone said it'll only take him 30 minutes to pull a vacuum. So it's 10:42, and we're still at atmospheric pressure. So it's gonna take a minute for it to really kick in. There it goes. Now let's see what we got going on. See y'all in a minute. Of course, I was on the phone with another tech, so I didn't record. But uh, we got refrigerant added. Covered the the things done. I took a screenshot of what I went down to. If you guys are, I thought I took a screenshot. Well. Maybe I didn't. It got down to 407 microns. So I let it hold for about 10 minutes and it worked fine, it held fine. And we added refrigerant. And now I'm getting the gauges all set up to turn on. I might have went a little overboard on the refrigerant on accident. So I wanna see if it affected it. It's probably not much, like 0.1 ounces. So we'll see. Okay, that's on, that's on. And turn it on, let it run. And then it's probably gonna mess my umbrella up. Gonna take all this stuff and Put it all back up. We should be good to go. Be back with you soon. I had I had one subscriber interested. I think it was Sam Andrew of my field piece pump. Extra longer wire. It's just a computer wire. You can buy them off Amazon. This is one end here. This just plugs right in. This end here just plugs right in, just like that. So, and then, this is like a 15 foot cord, and it's just a regular plug. And now if I need the cheater cord, you know, the cheater cord just plugs in and it attaches. She just kicked on, I'll put these tools up, let it run for a little while, and we're gonna check it out. But if you're interested in my extended field piece cable, it's just a cable from Amazon, 15 foot. Uh, computer tower cable works perfect doesn't look too bad looks good final thing I like to do after I grab these gauges off um, I do a temperature split inside and check it and then we'll call it good this is going to be the end of this video so thank you guys for watching I appreciate y'all uh, please be sure to like and subscribe And if any of this is helpful comment down below. Well, thank you. Well, thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out